Hello, okay, uh, let's look at the next one. Over here we have a system and you know, just um, watch my previous video and it reminded me of uh, that guy on PBS who paints, right? So I don't know, maybe I can go on a second career doing that. Like instead of painting, it will be solving physics problems, talking like this just like showing my back right to the public. And I don't know, people will fall asleep or something. I don't know why that guy is so popular. Maybe it is relaxing. Yeah, yeah I guess it is relaxing somewhat. Okay, anyways, um, I'll try to not waste more of your time. We have a potential, so we have the energy scale for here. This is 10, 10 joules, I assume. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty centimeters. And you have a potential that looks like this. It goes back to 10. That's 40. Okay. You have to calculate the force at five, 15, and 25 centimeters. And I explained some of this in during the lecture today. So the main thing that you have to remember the relationship between the force and the potential. So before we got the work, which is um, energy transfer. That's that's uh, that's the work. Uh, it's energy being transferred. Uh, before you do work. You're going to have some energy as potential or um, skinetic. When you do work, you change uh, the amount of energy in the system. So before and after, you have energies. During, you're doing work. You're transferring the energy. OK, so you know that means that this work, once you're done with it, uh, it's going to be some energy, U. So if we take the derivative of U, then we can take the derivative of this thing, uh, the derivative of an integral. They are inverse operations, so we get rid of them. And this dx, we can move it down here. And we get the force. Um, the direction of the force, and you're going to have a negative over here. It comes from your dot product that you just got rid of, essentially. But force is the derivative with respect to the displacement of the potential energy. 
Yeah, if you want the direction, you want the negative. If you only care about the magnitude, well, then uh, it's that. Direction is kind of important though. I will see. So uh, this is just um, the slope, right? So the change in U, the rise, change in X is the run. So here the rise is negative 10 joules and for the five meters. Uh, so force at five meters. And the run is zero point one meters. So joule you divide it by a meter. Joule is kilogram meter squared over second squared. It's also equal to Newton times meter. So if you divide it by the meter, you get your Newtons, which is a force. So over here is going to be 100. Well, Uh, for the 15, uh, your change, your rise is zero. And your run, it's 10. Well, that's still zero. For your 25, you have, uh, I guess it went back to 10, so 10 joules divided by the 0.4 minus 0.2. That's 0.2. So it's going to be 50. Um, so you have a negative over here. have a positive over here. And I mentioned that for the direction you should care about the negative sign. So uh, the negative with the negative gives you positive. And the negative with the positive gives you negative over here. And what this gives you is the direction of the force. So the potential is less here than here. And the universe likes to minimize energy. Everything goes to the minimum energy configuration if given the opportunity. So that means that the force is going to be in the positive um, X direction. But here, uh, with the negative over here, you're going to have uh, the force in the opposite direction, so to the to the left. Uh, over here, the force is greater because the slope is steeper than here. And one of the cool things about uh, these energy curves, potentials, is that they behave pretty much like 
like a heel, right? So if you're on a steep heel, you're going to have certain, you're going to feel certain force towards uh, going downhill. Same here, this other heel. And the steeper it is, the stronger the force is, and it's trying to uh, push you in that direction. Right, so let me just make sure that I didn't miss anything. Right, looks pretty, looks done. Okay, thank you.